Hello everyone, this is Teacher Karen. So may bago na naman tayong lesson, sana ay panoorin nyo ng buo para maintindihan nyo at masagutan ang mga pinasasagutan ng mga teachers natin. So ang lesson natin ay solving problems involving real numbers. So we will recall first the properties of real number. We have commutative, associative, distributive, identity, and inverse. Commutative property, in addition, A plus B is equal to B plus A. Ibig sabihin, nagpalit lang ng posisyon si A at saka si B. Ganun din sa multiplication. Ang kaibahan lang nila ay ang uh, operator na ginamit. Ito ay plus, doon naman ay middle dot. Or pwede rin asterisk or parenthesis. Associative property naman ay nagpapalit ng grupo. For example, dito, ang magkagrupo ay si B at saka si C. And then dito naman, ang magkagrupo naman ay si A at saka si B. Ganon din sa multiplication. Ang kaibahan lang po ay sa operator. Ito ay plus and then dito ay sa middle dot. Next, ang distributive property. Ang distributive property ay nagdi-distribute. For example, si A i-distribute kay B and then si, uh, si A din ay i-distribute kay C. Kung addition plus ang gagamitin, kapag subtraction naman ay minus. So, AB plus AC. So, si A ay dinistribute kay B at si A ay dinistribute kay C. Okay, next, identity property. Sa identity property, hindi na babago yung given number. Kahit anong i-add or kahit anong i-multiply, hindi mababago yung, yung given number. So, for example, sa addition, lahat ng ina-add sa zero ay still the given number. For example, for example, a plus zero is equal to a. So, hindi na bago yung given number kasi zero yung inad. Sa multiplication naman, lahat ng minumultiply sa one ay hindi na babago yung number, yung given number. So, a times one is equal to a. Sa inverse property naman, Kapag nag-add ng opposite niya, lagi nag equal sa 0. And then, kapag nag-multiply sa reciprocal niya, nag equal naman siya sa 1. Sa addition, nag equal kapag opposite yung ina-add sa kanya, nag equal sa 0. Sa multiplication naman, kapag minumultiply sa opposite niya, nag equal sa 1. Next. So, we were, we will, uh, Solve problems. So, solving problem, real words problem. Okay, so solve the following problem. So, una, problema about sa bank. So, Altair has a negative balance of 500 pesos in his bank account. If we deposit 2,250 into his account, how much money does Altair have in his account after the deposit? So, una, i-analyze mo, ibabasahin mo maigi yung problem. Then, i-highlight, bibilugan, or i-underline ninyo yung mga importante information para makatulong, para masolve natin yung problem. So, una, dito, nagkaroon daw siya ng negative balance sa banko, na negative 500, meaning may utang pa siyang 500 sa banko. Ngayon, nag-deposit siya ng 2,250. Ang tanong, magkano na yung balance sa banko? So, ang solution niyan, so, hinahilight ko yung 2,250 tsaka yung 500. So, since negative to, so, meaning negative 500 plus yung dineposit niyang 2,250, so, magkaiba sila ng sign, ibig sabihin, ima-minus natin. So, 2,250 minus 500 is 1,750. Meaning, Alter has 1,750 pesos in his account. Okay, next. In Baguio City, Philippines, the temperature was negative, 400, negative 14 degree Fahrenheit in the morning. In the temperature, if the temperature dropped 7 degree Fahrenheit, what is the temperature now? 
So meaning, nung sa Baguio City daw, ang temperature in that time is negative 14 degree Fahrenheit. Nung morning. Tapos, bumaba ng 7 degree Fahrenheit. So, kailan ngayon yung present temperature? So, ano ngayon yung present temperature? Yung solution niya, since negative 14 siya nag-start, tapos i-add natin, nag-drop siya ng negative 7. So, meaning, since magkapareha sila ng sign, i-add natin. So, 14 plus 7 is 21. Then, copy the sign, negative. So, the answer is, the temperature is negative 21 degree Fahrenheit. Next problem. A submarine at negative 38 feet, ibig sabihin ng negative 38, 38 feet below sea level. Tapos doon siya nag-start sa 38 feet below sea level o negative 38. Nag-dive pa siya ng 50 feet. Ibig sabihin, bumaba, bumaba pa siya ng 50 feet. So what is the submarine elevation after the dive? Solution, nag-start sa negative 38, then nag-add ulit ng another negative 50. So, the answer is negative 80. So, the submarine elevation after the dive is negative 88 feet or 88 feet below sea level. Next, a submarine was situated 800 feet below sea level. If it is ascend 250 feet, what is the new position? Nag-start yung submarine, nakaposition siya sa 800 feet below sea level. Meaning, that is negative 800. Tapos, ascend, meaning umakyat siya ng 250 feet. So, ano na ngayon ang panibagong position ng submarine? So, ang solution natin, negative 800 plus 2, 250. Kasi, umangat na siya ng 250. So, magkaiba sila ng sign, isasubtract natin. So, 800 minus 250 is 550. Then, get the sign of the larger absolute value, which is the 800. So, ang sign niya is negative kaya negative. Meaning, the submarine new position is negative 500 feet. Negative 550 feet or 550 feet below sea level. Another problem, the Jurassic period was believed to have started about 190 million BC and ended up 135 million BC. Dati kasi, pag mga Jurassic period, pag BC yung ginagamit, habang sumatagal yung, yung taon o yung araw, bumabawas yung bilang. Kaya... Ang gagawin natin ngayon, para malaman natin kung an, gaano katagal ang Jurassic period. So, 190 million minus 135 million. So, ang sagot dyan is 55 million. So, ibig sabihin, 55 million BC nagtagal yung Jurassic period. Okay. Another problem how many bags of sugar can be made out of 25 and a half kilogram of sugar if each bag should contain 3 fourth kilogram of sugar? So, ibig sabihin, uh, ilang, ilang bag ng sugar ang magagawa natin sa 25 and a half kilograms? Na kapag ang isang bag ay nagko-contain siya ng 3 fourth kilogram of sugar. Meaning, i-divide natin yung 3 fourth sa 25 and a half kilograms para malaman natin kung ilang bag ng sugar ang magagawa natin. So, 25 and 1 half divided by 3 fourth. So, ang gagamitin naman natin dito ay operation on rational numbers. So, first, we will convert this mixed number into improper fraction. So, 25 times 2 is 50. Plus 1 is 51. Then, copy the denominator. So, magiging 51 over 2. Then, copy the division operator. Then, 3 fourth. Next, keep, change, flip. Kasi, ikikip natin yung 51 over 2. Yung division magiging multiplication. So, keep, change, 
and then flip. Yung denominator magiging numerator and then yung numerator magiging denominator. So, we will multiply. Okay, so 51 times 4 is 204. 2 times D is 6. 204 divided by 6 is 34. Meaning, we can make 34 bags of sugar out of 25 and 1 half kilograms. Okay, next. On a car racing competition, the red car has a speed of 451.81 meters per second and is increased by 8.5 meters per second. Find the new speed of the red car. Yung unang speed ng red car is 451.81 meters per second. Tapos nag-increase daw ng 8.5 meters per second. So ilan na yung speed niya? So, gagamitin naman natin dito ay addition of decimal number. So, 451.81 plus 8.5. So, bring down 1. 8 plus 5 is 13. So, bring down 3. Carry over 1. Then, copy the decimal point. Then, 1 plus 1. 2 plus 8 is 10. Bring down 0. Carry over 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. Then bring down 4. So the final answer is 460.31. Meaning the new speed of the red car is 460.31 meters per second. Okay, next. Lai and Ray shared a vegetarian pizza and Hawaiian pizza of the same size. The vegetarian pizza was cut into 8 equal slices. So yung vegetarian cannot eat siya, yung vegetarian pizza, hinati siya sa walo. And then yung Hawaiian pizza was cut into six equal slices. So yung Hawaiian pizza, hinat lang sa anim na pirato. Anong na slices. Lai ate two slices of vegetarian pizza and one slice of the Hawaiian pizza. So ibig sabihin, ang kinain ni Lai, two slices na vegetarian and then one slice na Hawaiian pizza. Si Ray naman ate two slices of Hawaiian pizza and one slice of the vegetarian pizza. So, ito yung mga tanong. Who ate more pizza? How much more did the person eat? And how much pizza was left over? So, isa-isahin natin siyang sagutin or sagutan. Next. Solution tayo. So, ang question sa letter A is, who ate more pizza? Sino daw ang kumain ng mas marami pizza? So, marerecall natin, si Lai, kumain siya ng dalawang slice na vegetarian. Since walo yung hati do sa vegetarian pizza, 2 over 8. Dalaway na kain ni Lai, walong, walong slice yung vegetarian pizza. Plus, isang slice ng Hawaiian Pizza. Ang Hawaiian pizza ay hinati sa anin. So, ibig sabihin, 1 over 6. Tsaka nga hinati sa anin. Sa addition, kung matatandaan ninyo ng addition of fraction, iminumultiply natin yung denominator. So, 8 times 6 equal to 48. Then, cross multiplication. So, 6 times 2 is 12. 8 times 1 is 8. And then, i-add natin. 12 plus 8 is equal to 20. Then, copy the denominator. Then, get the lowest term. So, 20 divided by 2 is 10. And then, 48 divided by 2 is 24. Stay muna tayo dito. So, check muna natin yung kinain Ray. Si Ray, kumain siya ng dalawang slice ng, vegeta ng Hawaiian pizza. Since 6 yung hati, kaya 2 over 6. Plus, yung isang slice na vegetarian pizza which is cut into equal 8 equal slices kaya 1 over 8 multiply to 6 times 8 is equal to 48 then cross 8 times 2 16 6 plus 6 times 1 is 6 then add 16 plus 6 is 22 then over 48 then, get the lowest term. The 22 divided by 2 is 11. And then, 48 divided by 2 is 24. So, 11 over 24. 
So since parehas naman sila na denominator, hindi ko na yung babaguhin kasi wala ng lowest term to. So stay na lang, lang din yung nandito para lang magkapareha sila na denominator. So paano natin malalaman kung sino ang may kinain na mas marami? So 11 over 24 kasi since parehas naman sila ang denominator, so magtatalo lang sa numerator. So 11 over 24 is greater than 10 over so that means Ray ate more pizza. Next. Solution. So letter B. How much more did that person eat? Sa ano daw ang karami? Ay, yung lamang na kinain ni Ray kaysa kay Lai. Sabi nga si Lai kumain siya ng 10 over 24 while Ray ate 11 over 24. So, para malaman natin yung lamang na kinain ni Ray kay Lai, ima-minus natin yung kinain ni Ray sa kinain ni Lai. So, 11 over 24 minus 10 over 24. So, since parehas ang denominator, we just copy then 11 minus 10 is equal to 1 over 24. I think Ray ate 1 over 24 more uh, pizza than Lai. Next solution. Sa letter C, how much pizza was left over? Ilan daw ang natirang pizza? Since dalawang pizza siya, at ang kinain nila ay 10 over 24, and ang kinain ni Ray is 11 over 24 na pizza. Since dalawang pizza yung pinanggalingan niya, so 2 over 1, minus yung dalawang kinain. 24, then 10 plus 11. So, 24 times 1 is 24. Then 24 times 2 is 48. At itong nandito, 1 times 10 and 1 times 11, hindi na siya mababago. So, magiging 11 plus 10 is 21. So, 48 minus 21 is equal to 27 over 24. Or, pag gagawin natin siyang mix, that is 1 and 3 over 24. At kapag nilawas naman to, nilawas term to, 1 and 1 over 8. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 24 divided by 3 is 8. So meaning, there was 1 and 1 8 pizza left over. So, how do we solve problem? So, una yung tatandaan, understand. Read the problem, what am I looking for, and then what do I know? Circle the important numbers, Underline the, label, the labels. So, kailangan itindi natin yung problem, ano ba yung hinahanap niya, ano ba yung tinatanong niya. And then, isi-circle natin or i-highlight natin or i-underline natin yung mga importante info para makatulong ma-solve ang problem. Next, solve. So, show all your work, label your answer. Then, plan. Choose a strategy. Draw a picture or make a table, and then check. Explain and justify. Is your answer reasonable? Okay. See you again next time, and God bless you. Thank you.